How can I simulate concurrent users with unique logins? How can I share dynamic data between different thread groups? We have a different thread number here. We call it different users. So different user log into the system use different login, username and password. And we have a two thread group, thread group one and thread group two. Thread number one, we use a name Daniel salary 1000H18. And in the same thread number but different thread group, we use the same data here. That's all about CSV dataset config. Unique logins while doing concurrent user testing using JMeter. You can figure out lots of ways to achieve this, like uh, define different variables for different username and password. But it doesn't make sense if you like uh, 1000 user names. So the best choice is by just uh, using CSV dataset config element in JMeter, like I'm doing right now. This is the CSV dataset config, and there are lots of parameters there. And this is the overall definition of each parameters. So many things there, no worry, just forget it. Let me show you how they work one by one with a couple of scenarios. So we have a test plan and we create a thread group. We keep it five number of threads. And then we have a constant timer. We just use this one to avoid the request are missed in the view result tree. And we have a CSV dataset config. So the first thing we need to create a file like user info text. This is my CSV file. If you do it like this way, you need to put the file in the same folder or you specify the full path of the CSV file. And the file encoding like a UTF-8, usually we don't change it. And the variable names. So uh, I created the username and the password. So the username will be Daniel, Karen, Jim, and the password will be password 0102 and 03. And ignore the first line. So if you want to add uh, the title in the CSV file, so you can change it to true. So the JMeter will not read the first line of the CSV file. Delimiter. I fully suggest you to use the comma delimiter as default. But uh, you can change it to anything else if you want allow coded data. It's false by default, set to true if you have a double codes in CSV columns. And the rest of the parameters I'll show you in different scenarios in a moment. Then we create a dummy sampler. So it's not a real sampler. It's just for demo. So we have a request data, username, and the password. So the variable username will read from the CSV data and the password will do the same. We just write So you can see the thread number one, read the username, Daniel, and the password, password there one is the first line. And the thread number two, read the second line of the CSV data file is Karen and the password there two. And the thread number three will be read uh, Jim and the password zero three. Okay. So the main idea of CSV dataset config element is it reads the CSV file line by line and it provides its values to threads of the current thread group. Okay, recycle on EOF. EOF means end of file. This is true by default. Should JMeter restart from beginning when the end of the file is reached? So how about we change to false? Then we write again. Because we only have a three lines of data, so you can see thread uh, number two, we have Karen. Number one, we have Daniel. And uh, number three, we have Jim. Thread uh, five, number five, and uh, number four, we have EOF. That means there are no data to be read. Usually we change this one to true unless you know how to handle the situation if the data is not enough for your script. Okay, stop thread on EOF. That means JMeter stops the current thread gathering the value if EOF is reached. So let's keep the recycle on EOF as false and stop the thread on EOF is true. What would happen?
So even we have uh, five threads here, but we got only three requests because when the thread four or thread five reach the EOF, they will not be running. And if we change this one to true recycle, let's write again. So we got five requests here because there's not any EOF reach. So it's not triggered situation. Okay, sharing mode, all threads. All threads sharing mode means that the file will be shared between all threads and each request will read one line in the CSV file. So the first user will read the first line and the second user will read the second line we have a post data. In the post data CSV file, we have three lines of data and we have a dummy sampler. So we have a name, salary, and age. And the three variables will read from the CSV data. Then we just write. As we can see, number one, we have a Daniel 1018. Number two, we have a Karen 2028. And thread the number. Three, we have a gym, 3038, because we have a loop, two. So in the thread number one, we have the, this one, this one's loop two, we read from the beginning of the CSV file to the end. So we read the Daniel again, right? That's how it works. Okay, how about we change this one to current thread? So current thread sharing mode should be used when we want to uh, each thread to open and read the CSV file separately. In this case, each user will read the CSV file from beginning to end. So thread one will read line one and thread two and thread three will read line one as well. Then the same thread will read the line two and the line three. So let's write. So thread one, read the first line, Daniel, and uh, thread two, also read Daniel. Thread three, also read Daniel, and, uh, and this is the first loop. And in the second loop, the other thread will read the second line, Karen, Karen, Karen. Okay, that's how it works. So every thread will read from the beginning to the end current thread group with current thread group sharing mode each file is opened by each thread group separately just not to confuse with the current thread where each thread reads the file separately so this basically means that each of the threads in each of the thread group reads the csv file from beginning to the end so thread group one will read the csv file from beginning to end with the first line, second line, and third line, thread one, two, three, in the same as the other thread group, like thread group two, the thread number one, two, three, will read the CSV file from beginning to end. Basically, we need two thread groups, thread group one and the thread group two, and we need to put the CSV data set config here, outside of the thread group in the test plan level, and each thread group we give the number of thread 3 and the loop 2. That's right. Okay, so in the thread group 1, we have a thread number 1. It read the first line, Daniel in the salary 1000, age 18. That's the data from the first line. And in the thread group 2 and the thread number 1, we read the same data. So each thread group will read the data from beginning to the end, just line by line. But within the same thread group, you can see the thread number one is read Daniel and the thread number two read Karen and the thread number three read Jim. And so we reach the end of the line. So when the thread number one loop the second times, it will read from beginning Daniel, right, Karen, and Jim and the thread group two to the same. Okay, that's basically how it works. 
okay the sharing mode also we can change the option to edit generally when we use the edit option under the sharing mode config element this field transforms to input then you can provide your own string into the field instead of using a predefined ones like we can put it shared with thread group one and three also we can put another value and generally we need three thread groups and in the thread group one we fill it like a sharing with shared with thread group one and three and in the thread group two we change to all threads and in the thread group three shared with thread group one and three the sharing mode usually bring a lot of confusion for many JMeter users especially for the added mode so as a beginner i fully recommend you not to use this one but if you're interested you can try it so just to give the values like this one and run the script to see what would happen in the next session let's talk about the functional and variables if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching